Hello, friends. This is Squiggs, and we are back with another episode of, um, well, uh, whatever you would call this video is what we are back with. <laughs> it's not really a let's play, although I am about to rob this bank while we talk. It's it's less about the bank robbing and more about the chatting. Uh, so I guess it's kind of like a vlog, but it's not really a vlog either. Wait a second, is a vlog just a let's play with video game footage in the background? It might be. <laughs> it might just... We might be onto something there, or it might be a dumb thought. Either way, we're going to jump into this. This video is, I guess I would describe it as Squiggy poking his head out of his little cave and being blinded by the brilliance of the YouTube sun because he's been gone for too long. I've been gone for a while, folks. Let's jump into the jump into the gameplay here. The gameplay, is, like I said, is going to be pretty secondary, so I'm just going to give me something to shoot while we're talking, you know? Uh, we'll just jump right into it. Skip this, jump right in. Uh, this is Payday 2, it's a bank robbing simulator for the record, but like I said, not really important to the video. Um, basically, I'm just here to say hi. How you doing, friends? <laughs> it's been a long time. Uh, I've been off YouTube now for longer than I think I ever have been since I started. I've just been, just been freaking no YouTube for probably like four months or so. And there were a few exceptions where I came back and uploaded a video or two. But with the exception of very few videos, like scattered throughout, I've pretty much been gone for like four months, which is a long time. And I've disappeared in the past. We've made these poking your head out to see the sun videos quite a few times before. But um, it's just not usually for such a long time that I'm gone. Um, and usually I have like a reason too. Like in the past, I've had pretty good reasons. Like I've been like sick and I couldn't record for a couple weeks or... I've, um, oh, this guy's gonna die. He's in a bad spot. Oh, almost missed him with my shotgun pistol. Oh, sorry. You've seen too much, buddy. That's bad news for you. But, uh, usually I have a pretty good reason when I'm not, um, it's hard to hear with the jacket talking with her over me, but, um, I've had a pretty good reason why I've disappeared, like getting sick or, I mean, usually it's I'm breaking my computer in some way. <laughs> That's my main reason for not being able to make videos for a long period of time. Oh, you got to die too, buddy. You're the bank manager. Um, so, yeah, usually I've, I've got like some reason, but this time I, it's just been like, I don't know. I've just been kind of like indulging myself in nothing, really. Like I've not been busy with other projects or not been able to record because my equipment or my life is getting in the way. In fact, like it's during COVID time, I have more free time than ever, but I think that was also like almost a negative for my, my, uh, willingness to create. Can I like hack this camera? There we go. Like you would think that being home all the time would make you want to create stuff more. Right? But, like, for me, somehow, like, at first it did. At first I was overwhelmed with all the free time that I had. Um, but then after that, because, I mean, like, I work from home. And, like, nothing in the world is open. So, mostly, I've just been chilling at home, doing stuff that I want to do. But, like, I think it's almost, like, too much of a good thing. After a while, like, this alone time stopped feeling very special and was more overbearing. It's just there was too much of it. Like, I used to, like, only get a couple hours a week to, like, record, and I'd look forward to them all week, and I'd rush home, and I'd record a video, and I'd edit it up, and I'd put it on YouTube, and it was very exciting. And now every day is just filled with nothingness, and it's, like, it's hard to get excited in the same way for stuff like that. Um, and I think that was part of it, but mostly I've just been indulging myself in nothingness. Uh-oh. Please don't see that guard. Be cool. Be cool. Not a chance we're getting out of this one, folks. You had to open fire, didn't you, you jerk? I can't let go of this pager. Um, we're just gonna quick restart this, and we'll do it. We'll do a couple tries at it. We might not get the bank robbery during the course of this video, but um, you know, that's what this this video is just kind of a weird one out of there. You know, I'm shaking off the dust. We're robbing banks. I can't even rob a bank and talk normally. I'm not very good at this game to begin with. It's not the video for me to, like, have a discussion over. I should be playing Mario, which is what I usually do when I make these videos. But I, didn't feel, I don't know. I just didn't feel like playing Mario right now. Because I didn't... Well, I didn't want to do someone's... I was thinking of just doing Super Mario World like I do sometimes when I chat. But, I mean, I've already done that in the past. So I figured we'd switch it up. Probably a mistake because it's harder than I remember. 
uh, to talk and get your point across and make a good video without losing your train of thought. All right, so this guy's dead. That's good. Um, but yeah, so instead of capitalizing on all this time that I've had at home, I've just kind of been indulging in the nothingness, which is really like, it feels good, doesn't it, folks, to like just decide that you're not doing anything with your time. You're just going to spend it on like nothing like that. I, I crave nothing this time in my life normally, but now there's so much of it. It's so readily available, and I, I guess I'm addicted to it because I've used a lot of this time to accomplish nothing. And eventually, like, it basically indulging in nothingness is a lot like just, like, lying on the floor and having someone pour warm sand on you. It feels great, right? It feels great. Your whole body's warm, and you feel weighted down. Like, you don't even want to move if you could. And then eventually, there's just too much sand. <laughs> there's too much sand. And it's like overbear. That's a bad analogy. That's not... I, can, I always try to, like, fudge these analogies in these videos, and they never go well. I'm not a good analogy writer. Um, but basically, yeah. So I've been indulging in the warm sands of nothingness for a while, but I hit a point where I'm like, I got to shake out of this or I'm going to spend another four months and just not do anything, which is a real problem. Uh, because I mean, there's not much I can do right now. Anyways, I mean, obviously we're in the middle of COVID time, so I, I'm not sure how you're doing out there, folks. I really hope it's good. I haven't really got a chance to talk to you guys yet. Cause I've been gone for most of COVID, but, um, really, really hope that it's affecting you as least as little as it possibly can and that you're not too out of sorts or hard hit by it. Um, it's just a weird time in the world right now. And I, I mean, I got lucky based on where I live and like my family members just like not being too affected by it. I'm in a good area of my country for it. And um, I mean, I have a job where I work from home. So like, I'm in an area, I'm in a position to not be affected as much as possible. I just have, I'm just good. My life's just boring now, basically. So no major complaints there. But um, whenever I see stuff on the news, the first thing I think about is all my YouTube friends from around the world. Like, I never used to, like, be so connected to world events. It's weird. But, like, knowing people personally from other countries, like, I've, I'm not, like, disrespectful to other country cultures and countries. Like, I've never not cared about them. But which is what it's going to sound like by what I was just about to say. But uh, that's not what I meant. Basically, what I was trying to say is like it's different to have like a personal connection and to think about the actual people, you know, in an area being affected by something instead of just like them being faceless countries. You know what I mean? So the first thing that I think about when I hear stuff about COVID in other countries or any news in other countries is my YouTube friends. So just know that my thoughts are with you, friends, and I hope that everything's going smoothly as smoothly as it possibly can in such a weird freaking time but um yeah like i was gonna say since i can't alter covid very much i mean it is what it is i'm a firm believer in kind of making the best of the situation that you're given please don't duck like you noticed that i know i'm shooting a shotgun pistol but it's got a silencer you're not allowed to know um I'm a firm believer in making the best of your situation, capitalizing on your circumstance, right? So if I can't change the fact that I have to be home all the time, I should be using this time in a way that is productive for me. And I just haven't been. I've just not been doing that at all. Um, which I think is okay to a degree, but like for so many months to have nothing to show for it feels pretty bad after a while. You know what I mean? And for me, the value of my life is directly tied to what I can create. It's always been that way. I felt like making a song or writing something, making a game, making a YouTube video, like that's what makes me, that's a direct link to happiness in my life. And I've just not been doing that, which is weird. Like, and like I said, I think I said this earlier, I can't remember, but it's not YouTube or anything that I'm burnt out on. I've just been doing nothing. I'm just in the sands of absolute nothingness. It's not like no music writing, no game development. And this is the time for that. I'm home all the time. I mean, my roommate's home all the time, too. So it's a little bit like, um, as far as like music creation and stuff, obviously, I want to respect him being asleep. It's the same thing with YouTube videos, but I have a better setup here than in my old house as far as recording goes. So um, I'm not too worried about my roommate being home for stuff like that. But uh, music and stuff, it's a concern. But either way, 
I have a lot of time and I'm using none of it and I need to shake myself out of it. I went on like a walk. Oh, you're dead, bank manager. I went on a walk with my friend. What? Where are you going? Go to your office. Oh, okay, you go to your office. Watch this. Pop. Pop. All right. Now you come with me. And you. Pop. All right, good. Um. What was I going to say? Shit, what was my train of thought there? I think I was just talking about... It took me 15 seconds to realize this, but I think I was just talking about how I've not been using any of my time for anything productive, which is pretty much the point of this video. Oh, I was going for a walk the other day, and it shook me out of it. Like, I've been trying to get out of this mode for a couple weeks now. I've just been wanting to, like... I've been feeling like this is too much... I'm not getting anything done. I really need to do make a change. But, like, it's hard to shake yourself out of those modes. It's not like... I don't want to say, like, a depression. It's more like a funk. Because I don't, I don't attribute any sort of sadness with my nothingness. Um, it's more of just, like, a, a lack of a will. Which does sound, again, like depression. But I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea here. I'm not sad or anything. I'm just lazy. <laughs> just maybe worse. I don't know. Like, I'm just, like, not... I have no willpower to do anything. Which I think is good some days, but not too much. So I've been trying to shake myself out of it. I went on a walk yesterday, though, with a friend. We went on a hike through the woods. And I saw... Uh-oh. What's going on? Who saw the blue question mark means someone was alarmed. Uh, I really wish that guard, that guardia, would move a little bit this way. I think we got one more guard left. But yeah, I went on a hike with my friend. And we're walking through the woods. And, like, just looking at plants, and he's naming plants, which is cool. What does he see? Oh, this is it. You're dead, bud. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, they see it. That's bad. <sighs> Motherfucker. You fucking asshole civilians. All right, we're going to try this one more time. Um... But yeah, I was on a walk with my friend. We're hiking through the woods. It felt so good to get outside and use my body a lot. I have not been using my body. I, as you, some of you know, I work 10 hours a day in front of a computer. And now I don't even have to leave my house to do it. So it's double bad where we're at right now. Because I'm basically just... Um, yeah, I don't even have to... The mandatory walk to my car. Like, to get to work. Which was nothing. But at least it required me to do something. You know what I mean? Like... Now I'm just in an area where I don't ever, ever, ever have to leave my room. And there's no social pressure on me to do it. And there's no uh, work pressure on me to do it. And it's just completely, I'm separated from the world and no one, no one can care. <laughs> Which is just weird. Um, so that low form of like, those, those uh, low stakes makes it really easy for me to continuously indulge in it, basically. And um, now, enjoy the show. when I was walking with my friends, I'm like, I it was the final straw I needed. Like, out in nature, getting some fresh air, looking at cool stuff in the woods. I forgot how much cool stuff is in the woods, man. There's a bunch of cool stuff in the woods. If you go walk into the woods, you'll find some stuff out there. I forgot about that shit. I grew up too much. Where the, I've been spending enough time in the woods recently. We found, like, uh, you gotta die. Um... We found, like, um, my favorite thing that we found was, like, this little, like, rock garden where people were painting rocks and leaving them in this garden. And it said, like, take one if you feel like you need it. Leave one if you can. And you're supposed to, like, paint a rock and drop it there and then take someone else's rock for, like, inspiration. I'm like, that's so fucking cool. Someone went outside and did something with their goddamn life. And now there's a rock garden in the woods that people trade rocks at. That's the coolest fucking thing I've ever heard. And I was like, I need to do some shit. It was weird, but, like... I did have sort of like an awakening <laughs> at this rock garden, which was kind of weird. Like, it's just, it's something simple, but it was the final little bit that I needed to kind of push me over the edge and be like, you know what? Enough is fucking enough. Let's sh shake off the dust. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm making a commitment. I'm putting some time aside every week, every day, actually. So I have a plan to get my life back in order by focusing on four tenants that I think I need every day. And the idea here is that 
we focus a small amount on each tenant every day at the minimum and hope to get into good habits. It's based on something I saw on Reddit years ago called No More Zero Days, where people were talking about, like, you don't have to go and start doing, like, you don't have to, if your room's trashed, right? You don't have to go and spend 10 hours cleaning your room and rearranging all the furniture and unpacking all the boxes and putting it away. What you can do is instead get yourself in the habit of cleaning up your room a little bit every day, and it maybe won't get like that in the future, and you'll slowly work your way through your problems. It's more like a, it's building habits more than committing to large if you commit to large tasks it's easy to not want to do them you know what i mean but like anyone can do something every day so i split my like sorry folks i still got a, a bit of a cough my allergies are not great right now but um i split my life into four categories and i want to try to focus on each of these categories each day that's my goal here is like to give some form of love to each one of these four categories. And um, well, let me get this guy first. So the first category is just it's probably the most boring one. It's just the general general good stuff that you need. So that would be stuff like cleaning my room, doing some laundry, paying bills, getting groceries. All the stuff that you need to do to just stay alive basically would fall under that category. It's an important category, just not very, doesn't have a lot of character, you know. It's kind of the catch-all for things that are just, like, good for your life. So, like, every day I want to do something from that category. Uh, it could be as simple as folding one pair of socks and putting them away. That's a generally good thing for my life. I've done something. But the idea here is to start doing that every day and eventually to do more with it. You know what I mean? I think we might have it here. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go for that guy. Can't have these guys doing anything dumb. Um, so I'll do one little good thing from there every day. The second category is health, health and exercise, um, which I care the least about out of all four categories. Uh, I just don't care about my body. I was blessed with a good metabolism and a well-working body for most of my life, and it, I really just fucking don't treat myself right because of it. Hold on. This is... Hold on. These guys need to die behind the counter. All these guys need to go down. We might have it. You gotta die. Alright, tie him up. So yeah, I want to do something good for my health every day. And this is mainly because I've been spending so long inside. Uh, I always should take care of my health. But um, right now I want to make sure that I get out of the house a little more. So my, my good health thing is mainly just me deciding that I want to... Um, Go for a walk every day. Get some sunshine on you. I've been so tired lately, folks, and I think a large portion of it is due to the fact that I've... Oh, wait, hold up one second. A large portion of why I'm so tired is due to the fact that I'm um, never outside anymore, never moving around. Like, it's tied directly, I think, to exercise. Um, did you know that, like, you have this thing? I think it's vitamin B or vitamin D. It's one of those vitamins um, that... If you, um, your body takes it in and can't do anything with it, like unless sunlight metabolizes it for you, and that one is very, I think it's vitamin B, it's very necessary for energy um, production. So like you can take as many vitamin D pills as you want, or vitamin B pills as you want. It's not going to help um, as far as, um, well, your body can use some of it, but it'll just like, it'll just pass through you mostly and you'll get no effect out of it um and that's because like you need the sunlight to turn it into something your body can use for fuel so i need to get outside more like my doctor told me i was dangerously low on that we've talked about that in the past i should probably still be on the fifty thousand milligram pills that they gave me um but I really need to start doing that every day. Just a quick walk around the block, and then I could check that off. You know what I mean? And it doesn't have to – it's like I, I don't need to do 2,000 sit-ups a day to feel like I'm exercising well. If I do any exercise as well, my body's like, oh, my God, what are – fuck you, first off. Second off, okay, I'll I'll feel a little better tomorrow, but we're going to be sore. Like, all I have to do is move, and my body's like, ah, fine, that felt, that felt pretty good <laughs> because of the low standards that I give it to live. Um Actually, hold on, we can try and hit this. I have a skill that if you you whack the drill, sometimes it starts working again, like an old TV. Um, 
so yeah, I want to focus on health every day. I want to focus on the third category is social. And I believe that one is not really like a necessity every day. I don't think people necessarily have to be social every day. I know I don't. I don't think I would be happy if I was social every single day. But um, so when I think of like checking off my social box for the day, I'm thinking of mainly like making sure I stay in touch with people via text message, call people that I need to, call up mod, say hi. Uh, make sure there's no one like, there's nothing like outstanding. Like I don't want to ignore people. I have a bad habit of putting my phone on the charger and then not looking at it for like an entire day. I just don't care sometimes. And a lot of times it's like just sitting there charging the battery. And once it goes there, I just don't think about it. Like I just don't, I don't like talking on the phone very much. I don't like talking via text very much. I do it um, with certain people. I do enjoy it, but like it's not my first thing for uh to do with my time so i just don't like it it's not it's never on my mind when it's not right there in front of me so i want to make sure that i but i don't want to leave people in the lurch if you're talking to me obviously i want to i want to talk back i'm not like anti-social i'm just like not super tied to my phone or i try not to be anyways um so that's an important thing to me and like i said i, I just want to make sure that i focus on maintaining it more so than like actively trying to find someone to hang out with every day of my life until I have no alone time and I hate myself. And uh, the fourth category we're going to focus on is creative. I think that's like, those are the four tenets of my life. General, social, health, and creative. Those are the four things that I need to keep in track in order to uh, feel good about myself and be fulfilled in life. I think that's basically, this is, I'm still working this all out of my head. This is basically like an open therapy session <laughs> right now where I'm just like venting to you all of my problems over the past four months and how I plan to fix them. So welcome to this video. That's why it's on Sunday, by the way. We'll get to that in just a second. <laughs> that's why we're releasing this one on a Sunday. That and the payday too. Um, so for the creative aspect, I really want to start doing something little every day like, um, you know, recording a video, editing a video, making some music. It's not just going to be YouTube stuff. But for the YouTube end specifically, I need to get back in the habit of regularly uploading and doing my, my thing. Like, I have to get back out of this funk of never doing anything. This, this sand pit, this warm sand pit that I've been lying in for way too long. Um, and, like, once I shake it off, I'm sure I'll be back in it. And, um... Yeah, we're gonna go. We're going back to it with a focus again on the user submitted stuff because I still feel really bad about how long that list is. Uh, people keep sending stuff in, and I I welcome that. Please do continue to send it. Um, but I need to get that down to a place where people aren't waiting like half of a year to see the things that they send in. So I'm gonna heavily focus on those videos in particular. So my promise to you as YouTubers is um as youtube my promise to you as subscribers is that i will be releasing one video a week at the very minimum right that doesn't sound like much but this is part of my like no zero days thing that's the minimum i want to get one video out every single week until the end of the year i want to do it every single week until december and Nope, till January. Screw it. We're not quitting out in December. That happened to me once. I made it every single day of the year, and then I didn't upload from January to February. Like, <laughs> it's like, so I might burn myself out a little, but, like, I really think that I have the ability to kind of, um, to focus down now. I've had a long break. I'm ready to get out of this funk, and I'm ready to feel useful again. Like, I just, I need to start doing something with my time that produces something. Like I said, I don't feel like I'm... I don't feel like I'm accomplishing anything unless I make something creative every once in a while. It doesn't matter what it is. I just have to be making something. And it's just not been happening recently. So I want to, like, set down time. I want, like, a Sunday afternoon every week where I sit down and record and edit videos. I think that would be cool. Like, if I got on a schedule, almost like it's a job, but it's not, it's not a job because it's fun. You know what I mean? But, like, if I give myself some rigidity to it, I think that I could really like settle down and um, make sure that if I don't get my stuff done during the week, there's some time waiting for me to do it. Because that's a lot of what happens is I get to a day where I'm supposed to upload and I'm not ready for it and I run out of time and then I just don't upload and I say, oh, I'll take care of that by next week. And then I wait until that day on the next week and 
I say, oh, well, I don't have it ready, and I wait till the next week. And then four months pass, and I'm sitting in a goddamn sand pit by myself. Um, so I want to get out of that. And I think this, like, planning a Sunday afternoon where I have two hours every afternoon will be nice. You know what I mean? Like, I have two hours on Sunday. If nothing else is done, if I don't have a video ready for the week, I'll record it then, edit it, and have it ready to go by Tuesday or whenever I plan on releasing. So we're going to do one video a week, minimum. I think, I think I'll do it on Friday. One Friday video every single week with the goal, right? This is our stretch goal here, a goal of releasing two videos a week. Other one being on Tuesday. We'll do a Tuesday-Friday lineup. Friday guaranteed. Tuesday, if we're in a period of excess where I've recorded extra videos, right? So, and those two two days are going to focus mainly on our core series. Squiggy's Rom Hack Romp, Mega Maker Showcase, and then uh, I Want to Make Her. And for the three viewer-submitted ones. And then all the other little ones as well. Why is there, like, smoke here? It's not normally there, I don't think. But, um, yeah, those are the ones that I want to focus on. And then we're also going to pepper in our standard series that um, have been going on forever, like uh, Squiggy 7 and SNES First Level Quest, things like that. Uh, Abandonware Adventures is coming back. Um, so we're going to do all those core series on the, the two days. But then we also – we're getting to Sunday, folks. So this is a Sunday video, as you realized. I think Sundays are going to be the experimental days, right? So if we've got our video out for Friday – and we want to do something that's a little bit outside of the loop. Um, then maybe we do it on Sundays, right? Like, So I've had a lot of ideas for videos over the years that I just don't really do. Or I've recorded one episode of them and never followed through. Because I'm very much into keeping this channel focused on what it's focused on. But I like a lot of different games. Look at me. I'm playing Payday right now, right? Like, This is not a game that should be on this channel at all. Like, It doesn't belong here. Uh, it works pretty good for a vlog video because I can just walk around and shoot stuff. Especially, um, it would have went better if I didn't die so many times. But I probably wouldn't have enough time to talk, so maybe it all worked out. It's kismet in the end, right? I just learned that word. Well, I didn't really. I just heard that word recently, I should say, um, on The Office. Still watching The Office. Not much changes here, folks. Um, but, uh... Payday doesn't belong on this channel, so maybe that'll be like sort of like a... But Payday's a game that I play, you know what I mean? And it's not a game that I'm going to play for very long. The reason I recorded a Payday video is it's because what I'm doing. it's what I'm doing right now. Me and my friends got back into it. We have a new thing since uh, COVID times where we meet up every Thursday and play video games. And there's four of us, and we each pick a different video game every week in rotation. So we each get like one day a month to pick the game that we play. We've been playing stuff like um, we played. I picked Don't Starve Together last time. Um, we've been playing like Risk of Rain 2. We did um, Borderlands. Stuff like that. So there's been a lot of cool little um, cool games that we've been playing. I guess I'll pick a few lockboxes while I talk about the end of this. We've been playing a lot of cool little games. Um, and one of them is Payday 2. That was the last week's choice. So I'm back into it. But I don't play Payday 2. But it's kind of cool to do like a Payday 2 video, right? I wouldn't want it to become what happens on this channel. But like, say like once a month on a Sunday, a video like this comes out. It kind of like captures the moment a little bit. Because I'm going to quit Payday 2 in about three weeks and never play it again. I don't even really like Payday 2 that much. I think the developers are a bunch of jerks. So like, <laughs> there's no reason for me to be playing it on the channel. But like now we have this one little one-off video. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking of doing more like that to just spice things up, to capture little moments, uh, and just to do things that I want to do creatively. Um, I haven't really been like, uh, like repressed creatively on YouTube ever, but I definitely do focus more on things that I think people would like to see, which is different from when I started. When I started, I would just do whatever videos I wanted all the time. But now that there's an audience, it feels weird to waste your guys' time with it. That's why I'm thinking the Sunday additional videos is a good way to do it. Like, if you don't like it, you just don't like it, but you still have the video. Like, I didn't take away my effort from another video. I just, um, I produced extra, right? It's excess, so I feel like it's better that way. And, yeah, this is just, again, more loose, just, like, open therapy session, uh, talking about my life and how unfulfilled I am and how I want to change things and be a better person, and then making large promises to people on the internet to hopefully force myself into 
doing it. <laughs> that's basically that's basically what we're doing here. And I mean that's that that about covers it. I think that's about where I'm at. It's been it's been weird times, and I'm ready to shake it off. I'm ready to become a productive member of life again. And by productive member of life, I mean playing your raw max. <laughs> that's that's what gets me going, friends. That's what makes me happy to be alive. And um, I've really I've really just missed it. Yeah, even though I've been doing nothing, I've very much missed the social aspect of YouTube that comes with posting videos. Like I've been indulging in the nothingness, like I said, and enjoying not having anything hanging over my head. But um, just having all my time infinitely to myself, because even as much as I love YouTube, it still is a responsibility. You know what I mean? It takes time to create the things. And it's the time spent is fun for the most part, but there's part of it, like editing, that's just not really that fun. So it's like you have to kind of get yourself in the mood for that, despite all the fun parts being around it. You know what I mean? Like this, the fun parts are easy to get. It's easy to record this video. It's going to be annoying to edit it. So like with that kind of stuff... Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't, I keep losing my train of thought because like, I don't really have a purpose. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just ready to get back into it. So I guess like, I guess we'll wrap it up before I just ramble more and more about how bored I am. Um, I'll close this video by saying, I really hope again, that you are doing as good as possible out there that you're managing through this just shitty part of life as best as possible. I hope that you are as unaffected as possible. And I hope you know that you're all in my thoughts, friend. I've really been missing hanging out with all you guys. And that part... Oh, that's... I think that's what I was talking about, actually. Is that I've really just been missing the piece, the social pieces of YouTube. Despite, like, the video creation process, like, it being fulfilling, I've really just been missing talking to everyone. So hopefully we can get back to the swing of chatting. Chatting in the comment section... Uh, tell me what's going on in your life, how things have been going, if there's anything new with you. What have you been doing to take advantage of all this infinite time at home? Maybe you have some inspiration for me. I've been talking all about how I'm trying to up my life and do something with this time, but what, I mean, what have you been doing? That'd be cool for, oh, we found a, a pile of money. That'd be kind of cool to hear, um, because like I could use some, I could use some ideas to keep things a little bit fresh. Like I need some, I need some. Some around the house things to keep keep me entertained. Although, like, I mean, yeah, like I got I got all my hobbies, but it's just I need something to mix it up. I feel like every once in a while too. It's just a lot of time is the problem. It's not like that I have any problem filling time at home. It's just the sheer amount of it to fill. But yeah, before we go on again and get stuck in the loop of me being like giddy to get out of the house, like I'm like when they take the I've been watching a lot of uh, true crime stuff I'm like when they, they take those prisoners out of like solitary after like three weeks and they just have sensational overload and they're just looking around with giant eyes and even though they're in court trying to defend themselves for the horrible horrible things that they've done they, all they can do is like smile and laugh because they're around people <laughs> that's a piece of what I've watched pretty much all true crime stuff for the past I've just been sitting in my bedroom just watching just watching murderers talk not been great <laughs> so yeah if you got any netflix uh suggestions uh hulu suggestions musical suggestions video games you've been playing stuff that you've been doing around the house and that just like has been keeping your interest i'd love to hear about it down in the comments and i'd love to just chat in general and i'd love it if you sent me some stuff to play uh if you have some stuff out there let me know that's in the queue i, I maybe i'll bump you to the top if you're if you're at the end of this video still watching that means you're waiting for something to come out. So just let me know. Maybe I'll bump you a little bit to the top. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I don't know. Could happen. <laughs> it seems fair. Um, because I just I have a lot of it to cover right now. So um, why not, right? Get to the people that are waiting for it the most. But um, I don't like to go out of order too much because it's not fair. But um, if there's a tie, you know, we can settle some ties here in the comments. Either way, folks, I gotta go, because I'm never gonna let this go. I'm just so happy to have someone to talk to. <laughs> Please don't leave me. <laughs> All right, we gotta run to the van and wrap this up before I just ramble on about uh, and about stuff. I, I could literally do this for another 20 minutes. This mission's over, though. It's time to go. I didn't bring a saw. We can't saw open the lockboxes. Uh, if you want to see more Payday 2 stealth runs on Sundays, let me know down in the comments. Just kidding, although I totally could do a series on that, but... um. Not really interested in that. Um, but yeah. 
I guess we'll just I guess we'll just end it there before I just keep rambling. So thank you so much for joining me, friends. It feels real good to be back. Uh, I hope you're excited for some more uh, some more um, viewer submitted content to come out because I'm going to be firing on all cylinders. There, we're going to work this down to a reasonable place where you can submit a video, submit a level, and see the video within a decent amount of turnaround. Um, and you know what? I'm going to get started on it right now because no more zero days, right? You got to do stuff for it to happen. So I'm going to shut off this video and I'm getting to editing right now. Boom. I'm motivated, folks. And then I'm going for a walk and then I'm going to I'm gonna fold one pair of socks. <laughs> and that's my day, baby. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for joining me, friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you soon with another one. And, yeah, have a wonderful afternoon. Friends, how you been? This is Squigs and I've been missing you. I've been locking myself in my bedroom rather than reconvening with you all. So I'm writing you a short tune to let you know that I haven't forgot about you. Remember when I put these at the end of every episode Back when I had drive to be a little more than I am right